So, uh, wow. So that's a pretty old piece. Score. I didn't set that up. You know what? You saw that come out, right? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Yeah, these flake scars are just massive. That is really cool. That's, uh, to me, that looks old. Some of the earliest material, that's sort of a hallmark. Big flake scars, some of them striking all the way across a piece. The BLM manages over 80 million acres in Alaska. One of the biggest challenges from an archaeological standpoint is the fact that of that land we know very little about the prehistory and in some cases history on the land. So what we've begun to do systematically is conduct archaeological inventories and testing projects throughout the lands that we manage. We're uh, helicopter supported, dropping teams off in likely areas where we think we might find sites. And over the years, we've gotten pretty good at predicting where the sites are going to be on the landscape. I mean, when we first come into an area, you know, in some cases, it's kind of hard to tell. These different uh, regions, they all have a little different resources, they all have different topography, and they all have different areas that are desirable or were desirable to uh, prehistoric hunters and gatherers. See, if you get a you know, big flake like that and roll it over, and, and you can see that this is sort of a primary or early stage flake in the process of reducing a stream-worn cobble or pebble or whatever into a tool. I mean, I record everything in this. This is a GPS and computer. I run GIS software in it, so I load it before I come out. I'll have a picture of this point, a couple of notes saying, you know, I found that at 18 centimeters below the surface, whatever else I put in there off of the notes I've already got. That'll get bagged, and this little site will have its own little museum collection up at the museum. And it'll, it'll be these two artifacts. Every now and again, you get lucky. So what is that? That's part of a part of a biface and that was found down in there ways. And to me, it looks old. <laughs> this fits with the size of bifaces that we know this type of flaking, these really large flake in material that's up in that 10, 11, 12 thousand year old range. So wow. Mm -hmm.